Hey everybody, Garen here from the Bryan Brothers and uh, we thank you so much for subscribing and watching our, our videos. Um, on this episode of the Bryan Brothers, we have a special guest. This is mine and Kevin's dad. He taught us almost everything we know about tools and getting out and creating stuff. And he has all ten of his fingers and so do we. So Dad, when he called and said they were coming to uh, Long Beach, California, he said, We're going to build a rocking chair for that great grandson of mine. And I said, We, we can, can do that. that. chair for uh, my grandson who just turned one year old um, we are doing a teddy bear pattern that dad chose dad took all the different pieces and laid them out on this 1 by 12 um, of, it, we're just using pine um, and trace them out what we're going to do next is we're going to cut each piece down to manageable sizes and then cut them out on the scroll saw. All right, so that's next. All we're doing right now is getting uh, the rough cuts so it is uh, more manageable pieces that we can work on the scroll saw and the band saw. One down, six pieces to go. All right, we got all of the pieces cut out. Now it's time to uh, sand off some of the, uh, the the rougher edges and all that. We're going to use the the one inch by forty two inch uh, sander here, little delta sander that we have, and uh, do that. is sanded here. We uh, paused for a little bit of a lunch and uh, now we're going to uh, clamp these um, rockers um, together and we're going to drill the holes that are going to go into the uh, into the cross brace. I'm going to glue and peg these and uh, we're going to be putting it together.
All right. Um, you saw us that we had it all clamped up. Now um, we took the clamps off. Everything was stable. Uh, we went ahead and put the back on, and we have uh, we used dowels, and so we pegged um, the back. We glued the back on. Our next process will be uh, putting the arms. William, what do you think so far? What do you think, William? How's it work? Oh yeah, you can put your you you can't you can put your arm in the back. Yep, absolutely. Dude, what do you think? Playing picture pretty good. How would you like some arms? You want some arms on your chair? <laughs> yeah? You want some arms on your chair? Hey, William. What do you What do you think about your chair, William? So can you say, grandfather, thank you for the chair? No? Yeah? Okay, I know you're thinking about saying it. Alright. I'm videoing you. But videoing me? <laughs> All right, if you look right here, we have our uh, where we're going to use the Forstner bit to drop these right down in there to hold the uh, whoops, whoops, can't can't hold on to those to hold the uh, the arm. So it's going to go something like that on the bottom. We're also going to uh, run the Forstner bit on that. I'm going to drop both of these in about a quarter of an inch. You can see our pilot hole um, that we're going to uh, to peg the back um, the back of the arm there. All right. So we're going to drill it. like we want it that is super tight and uh, really pleased with that Woo! that I don't I don't know if that would look any better we are really pleased it fits tight uh, next thing we're gonna do is glue these down they're just in there uh, they fit perfectly we're gonna get it in we got sand some edges off we're gonna get this dude in stain you might even get to see my great grandson in it. Uh, so now it is time to uh, sand it. We're going to sand it with a little orbital sander and uh, with about 120 grit sandpaper. with the way it's turning out. So, Dad, what's next? 
We're going to polyurethane, and then we'll put the face on, and we'll be done. And I do suggest that you wear gloves, rubber gloves, when you're staining. He has piercing eyes, doesn't he? We use a Forstner bit right here to drill out those. Um, eyes just a little bit, glue, uh, cut out his little face, clamped it on there, and uh, we're about to spray a final coat of polyurethane on it. Makes me smile. Maybe it'll make my grandson smile too.